What's up, everyone? It's John Coliseum Boot Camp. It's actually late, but early, 6.30. I don't know what you call that late or early for me. It's kind of late. But it's Saturday, so um, getting a, just a chiller start. I want to go over my supplementation. Not the other side of the world, but the supplementation as far as stuff that I take in the morning. Because I'm very so health conscious right now. You know, being that I hit 50 this year. Um, and the lifestyle that we choose to get embark in and bodybuilding. Well, I don't know if I'm a bodybuilder, but physique. You still got to take care of your health. So there's a lot of stuff that I take in the morning. I'm going to kind of just share with you what I take. My morning regimen is. I do have a PM regimen of supplementation that I take. Uh, basically just to keep the body running effective, efficiently. I'm not one that ever I've gone to a doctor. Shoot, I didn't start going to a doctor until a few years ago. Because I was one of those guys that, hey... I'm perfectly fine. I don't feel anything. Blah, blah, blah. I only went if I needed it. But now I'm just taking a lot more precautions. So if you guys saw my prior video, I uh, I did a cardio scan, a stress test, did everything with my heart, done my blood labs. I'm doing all that stuff on a regular basis now just to make sure that there's nothing going on because we don't know what the hell our history has, what kind of heart issues we have, and then we embark in certain sports or certain activities that will exasperate certain conditions that we have that we don't know we have so just to be on the safe side go see your doctor especially guys they hate doing it but go do it anyway because the last thing you want to do is leave your family behind your little ones behind your wife behind whatever behind because we didn't take care of ourselves so my supplementation to keep my body healthy or this such i'm gonna go over one by one so basically i have a prestige labs multivitamin i take two of these in the morning uh take some five htp it's uh, more for uh, restful sleep, mood uh, swings, stuff like that. I take my liver protect, take two of these. I get these from my doctor. I do take uh, ivermectin. Obviously, that's to prevent coronavirus. So I just did my blood work a couple of weeks ago. And um, actually, no, I donated blood. I'm sorry, about a week ago, and the results came back, and it said that I was reactive for coronavirus. I was going, what the hell does that mean? Apparently, I had coronavirus at some point because I got the antibodies in my body, but I never had one damn sign or symptom of anything, so I never even knew. So, I've been taking the Evermectin now for almost almost six, seven, eight months. I, it feels like it's coming on to a year. Now, in the event I ever had coronavirus, I was very on the proactive, so I got my little bag of goodies here, and in here I got, uh, I got all kinds of shit in here. Well, anyhow, I got Z-Packs in here. I got ivermectin, I got HCQ, pretty much anything we'll need in the event someone got coronavirus on a bad thing, right? All right, so then I also take uh, uh, five IUs of vitamin D3. can never pronounce this one, ashawanda, whatever the hell. This removes stress. Glutathione is the best um, immune supplementation you can take. Our bodies produce it, but not enough. Now, the... The pill format isn't as potent or as strong. I take it just to take it, but the best way to do it is either through intramuscular injection shots on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. It has to be done through a doctor. You cannot get it other than that. And uh, the other way would be through an IV drip. So Alicia and I are getting an IV drip of the glutathione next month. Um... And that's going to give us a thousand units of that. So that really helps with drastically, radically changing your body. There's a lot of good studies on the glutathione, which is probably the number one immune booster there is. Back here, so I take the slow niacin. This helps with uh, cholesterol. Right now I'm currently taking uh, Anavar, 25 milligrams a day. Uh, Chromium picolinate. Of course, vitamin C. Now this little one right here, this is a Cialis, five milligrams. I take it on a regular, that one, I take it as a pre-workout. Um, it uh, helps with blood flow. So it's actually really good for, as a pre-workout, opening up your blood, get more blood through the muscles. So I take that on a regular basis. Um, obviously when you get on gear, sometimes you don't operate correctly, so that shit helps too. But anyway, that's pretty much, uh, everything that I take. I do have my nighttime stuff that I take. My night, my nighttime uh, supplements, I take magnesium, zinc, 
and I take uh, metformin. Metformin. Sorry about that, metformin. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, DM, comment below. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the notification button so when I'm putting out these uh, these videos, you guys will be alerted. Again, moving forward, everything I'll be posting is strictly just stuff that's going to help you live a longer life. Anything that has to do with fitness, health-related, that's really what the goal is. So you guys have a beautiful day. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.